Welcome to our video on what is inside of a wiper motor. The wiper motor is a crucial component in any vehicle that allows the wipers to move back and forth across the windshield, keeping your visibility clear while driving in bad weather. But have you ever wondered what's inside of this small yet powerful machine? Let's take a closer look. The heart of motor vehicle windshield wipers is a DC motor, which can be rated 6 volts, 12 volts, or 24 volts. Most motors are run off a 12 volt source, while a few are rated 6 volts and 24 volts. The first thing we see when we open up a wiper motor is the armature. This is the rotating part of the motor that is connected to the wipers. It is typically made of copper wire and is surrounded by magnets, which create the magnetic field that powers the motor. The next part we see is the commutator. This is a rotating switch that helps to change the direction of the current in the armature, allowing it to rotate in both directions. The field windings are also an important part of the wiper motor. These are the stationary coils of wire that surround the armature and create the magnetic field that powers the motor. Finally, we have the gears. These allow the motor to turn the wipers back and forth at the correct speed and timing. And that's it. These are the main components inside of a wiper motor. The armature, commutator, field windings and gears work together to power your wipers. Brush plate assembly The brush plate holds the motor brushes. Other parts of the plate include the springs that tension the brushes and the electric circuit that regulates the power going into the motor. Brushes The wiper motor brushes provide the path through which current is conducted to the armature coil so the motor can rotate. Armature The armature is the rotating center piece. It consists of a coil of copper wire wood around a magnetic core and resting on a shaft. The shaft spins freely, with a small bearing at the end for a smooth rotation. Commutator The commutator is the rotating part that sits between the brushes and is held in place by the motor shaft. It contains a series of conductive segments separated by insulating strips. The segments conduct current from the brushes to the coil in turns, enabling the continuous rotation of the armature. Housing made from steel, the wiper motor housing encloses and protects the parts inside. It's often coated to prevent corrosion. Magnet The windshield wiper's motor today contains permanent magnets. These are usually attached to the inside of the housing using adhesive. Their function is to provide the magnetic force required to rotate the armature. Gearbox the wiper motor gearbox is the housing that contains the gears and other parts required by the motor to perform its function. The parts reduce the speed of rotation, multiply torque, and transmit motion to the wiper linkage parts such as wiper arms and rods. The components that make the assembly are Worm gear The end of the wiper motor shaft is a worm a spiral gear that rotates a gear wheel. Together, the two gears form a worm drive and help to multiply torque through gear reduction. The arrangement also slows down the overall speed of rotation. Gear wheel This is the wiper motor gear that connects to the spiral gear to multiply torque. When the spiral gear rotates, the gear wheel also turns, but at a slower speed. That way, it multiplies the force of rotation to a level enough to move the wiper parts or wiper linkage. Depending on the specific model of the motor, there may be an additional gear or gears.
Output shaft The output shaft is attached to the gear mechanism. It helps transmit the wiper motor gear rotation to the outside, thereby helping to move the wiper transmission linkage. In a rear or back wiper motor, the shaft drives the wiping blade directly. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to press the bell icon for faster updates on my future videos. See you again.